Learning to ride a unicycle has turned out to be one of the most difficult things I've attempted to master. Because systematic methods for learning how to ride the unicycle are uncommon, every person must go through their own personal trial and error process, which might take a few hours, but for others like myself, months. That is why I developed this video of a technique that worked for me. The most common suggestions from YouTube and elsewhere are both right and wrong, but definitely limited in assisting with your learning process. 1. Use a wall or fence to get started. 2. Sit in the seat with minimal foot pressure on the pedals. 3. Keep good posture with your spine straight and the seat up. 4. Lean slightly forward. 5. Flail your arms to maintain balance. And six, keep pedaling to utilize momentum and stay upright. It wasn't until I started assisted free mounting that I realized how critical the mount is to success and how using a pole, wall, fence, or other support isn't helpful. I didn't make any real progress until I made the mount and riding part of the same movement. One, find a curb or solid edge or piece of wood that you put behind the wheel of the unicycle to prevent it from rolling backwards. I used a concrete shelf built into the floor of my garage. Two, place your dominant foot on the pedal to keep it in the eight o'clock position and step over the unicycle. For now, do not try to put your other foot on the pedal. Just get used to the feeling of the unicycle and particularly where you reach maximum contact this is where you will ride the unicycle. Put as little weight on the pedal as possible. You are just trying to keep the unicycle in place with this foot. If you find yourself applying pressure on the pedal, try tilting the pedal forward with your foot as this will help prevent you from applying excessive force to it. This is an important step in free mounting when you won't have a barrier to prevent the unicycle from rolling backward. Do this until you feel comfortable. You may have to do this many, many, perhaps hundreds of times. In the third step, continue with the same motion, but now put your second foot on the pedal, pause briefly, then dismount forward as you did in step one. Look at the other pedal and maintain contact with the seat as you thrust yourself forward. You must maintain pressure on the seat down through the wheel to the ground, otherwise you will put weight in the pedals and your attempt to mount will likely fail. To do this correctly, I had to think about jumping over the unicycle. Once mounted, pause momentarily with your feet on the pedals. I don't know why the pause is important, but at least for me, it was an essential moment of balance. Do this many, many times until you can do it without putting too much force on one or the other pedals. After you have learned to mount, you are ready to start pedaling. Pedal one half revolution until one of the pedals is in the down position, then dismount forward. The down position is called the dead position for good reason. It is very difficult to start pedaling in the dead position. Do this until you can do it 10 times consistently. After you have pedaled one half revolution, progress to one and a half revolutions, then dismount and do this until you can do it 10 times consistently. Do this exercise three times a day for three days in a row. You want to do the exercise three times a day for three days in a row to build the rote memory of the process where it becomes second nature. After you have mastered the mount, you are ready to start pedaling forward. 
mount the unicycle, pause, lean forward slightly, and begin pedaling consistently with both feet equally. Consistent pedaling is important because if you favor one foot, you will torque the unicycle in that direction and likely force yourself to dismount. After you have made a few revolutions of the pedals, correct your posture into a more upright position. The lean forward is necessary to gain sufficient momentum to stay upright, but failing to adjust after you have launched will force you into a forward dismount. Set progress goals each day for yourself and don't give up. You will find that each time you practice, you will pedal a bit further. Don't be discouraged if a practice session starts out poorly. If you keep at it, you will find that you have regained the skills you might have initially thought you lost between the sessions. Controlling the three dimensions of the unicycle is not easy, but if you are committed to the process, you will eventually be pedaling around your neighborhood with ease. You'll be ready to join the circus if you can find it.